Hello. So this is my studio. I never made a making up video for it. So what we'll do is the next best thing, which is we're gonna take this piece of plywood because it was built from a single piece of plywood and we're gonna make a scale model of it. So let's do it. So the scale is gonna be exactly four to one so I could just divide every dimension by four to build a model desk. The main structure was built from a single piece of plywood but I needed a second one for all the shelves and panels. The side pieces are angled, measuring two feet at the bottom and one foot at the top with matching top and bottom pieces. And I wanted the desk to have multiple tiers so I could have all my synth and module within reach. And I also wanted to be able to work standing up. Okay, now that we've measured everything, let's cut all the pieces that we need and not our finger. Safety first. So for the full-size desk, I bought pre-finished plywood because I wanted that furniture grade look. I also didn't want to spend hours and hours sanding the panels. All right. Now that we have all the pieces cut and sanded, the first sheet should contain all the pieces for the main structure, and the second sheet, all the shelves and panels. And once we assemble it, our structure should look a little bit like this. For the scale model, I'm going to be using tiny nails instead of construction screws, just because I don't think that I could have found matching miniature screws. Strangely enough, I found that it was actually harder to work with tiny nails than on the full-size structure with screws. Okay, one more nail over here. All right, this is starting to look pretty good. Look at that. All right, so the full-size desk has four inch cast away wood breaks because I wanted to be able to move it around. And I was super happy to find matching little casting wheels on Amazon. They're one inch tall, so they perfectly match the scale of the project. And there we go. Whee! Spin, 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 spin. Okay, so last part. Um, so this wouldn't be my music studio if it didn't have a little bit of grass on it. And I was super happy to find that they actually make miniature grass. So this is dollhouse grass. Uh, you can look it up online. Apparently there's grass for dollhouses. Um, so I cut it to size and use glue instead of double-sided tape. Uh, I used a uh, carpet mounting tape on a full-size desk. And here we go. This is the final product. We have my custom studio desk in four to one scale. Mini studio, big studio. Doesn't that look awesome? So this little project turned out a lot better than I imagined it would. So, if I get enough subscribers, next time I'm making a fully functional miniature reproduction of all my synthesizers. Okay, just kidding. I don't think I can do that. Can I? That would be so cool. 